Hey guys and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be swatching all of my tinted lip balms and high shine lipsticks. These are going to be the latest releases and everything that I purchased during the spring slash summer season. Brands have been releasing so many different formulations of high shine lipsticks and tinted lip balms and I wanted to come here and show you everything. I'm going to show you arm swatches and lip swatches of all of the colors and I'm going to talk a little bit more about the formula how everything feels on my lips and I'm going to give you short reviews of all of the products so that you can make an informed decision for yourself if you want to purchase any of those products or not. Now let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here and you love luxury beauty, please be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you here. I love talking about luxury beauty and if you're returning, welcome back dear friends. Let's go ahead and get started. I want to show you immediately. I'm going to turn the camera and I'm going to show you immediately what are the products that I'm going to be swatching today. Okay, so first of all, I would like to take a closer look at all of the tinted lip balms that I purchased recently and then I want to take a closer look at some of the shiny lipsticks. Some of them are new, some of them are old, but all of them are quite similar and I wanted to compare them. So let's go ahead and start swatching. Now the first one is actually a lipstick. This one is the, the limited from the limited edition Le Blanc makeup collection and it's Rouge Coco Flash. However, it performs like a lip balm. It is like a classic lip balm and it doesn't have a lot of color so that's why I wanted to compare it to the lip balms because it is supposed to be a lipstick but it's actually like a lip balm. I want to show you it has this gorgeous purplish color but when I swatch it you're going to see now as I start swatching everything you're going to see that it gives a little bit of shine, a little bit of sheen to the lips. This is a product that I absolutely love. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this on camera, but it's it's like a clear lip balm with the tiniest little purple, kind of a violet shimmers. They are visible in the sunlight, but you have to take a closer look. And this product is very, very moisturizing. Now, the other one that I wanted to show you that again is very, very sheer. This is the Beach Lip Balms from Shantikai. I have the shade Beach Rose. These come in the slim packaging. I just want to show you. The shade here is Beach Rose. And I'm going to build up the color so that you can see how the color looks. I actually like these lip balms from Shantikai. However, this um, lip balm from Shantikai is my least favorite just because, I don't know, it, um, it's very moisturizing, it's very nice, but it doesn't make me feel as happy as, let's say, the Guerlain lip balms. So I just wanted to show you. It's beautiful, but you're seeing that I actually build up the color a lot. It is more sheer on the lips. So both of these are non-sticky. My personal preference is Chanel because I'm a Chanel lover. Also, the Chantecaille is okay. It's a good lip balm. It uh, provides a lot of moisture to the lips. Then I want to show you the two tinted lip balms from Dior that I purchased. I purchased the shade 100 Nude in the satin finish and also Dior have matte lip balms. The matte lip balms are very nice if you want to make your lipstick more vibrant. It's a very interesting product. So this one is number 100 nude and it's one of my favorite lip balms. Now here this one is like seriously one of my favorite lip balms. You can see the color here. So this lip balm is something that I use all the time. You can see how much color I get with one swipe. So even one swipe is enough, but let me go ahead and build it up. I think that this is going to look absolutely stunning on all skin tones. It doesn't matter the skin tone. It just um, gives the, a very nice amount of hydration. It's not as watery as these two, so it has a little bit more grip compared to the Chantecaille and the Chanel Rouge Coco Flush. And then the other one that I wanted to show you is a very interesting 
matte lip balm. I have the classic red color from Dior, which is 999 Rouge. I'm very happy that I purchased this one because actually this can be used as a lipstick. You can see that I immediately get so much color. Okay, so you can see how much color I get with one swipe, but let me go ahead and build it up a little bit. So in case you want, you can just use this one alone. But if you want to have a little bit more impact, you can definitely apply um, matte red lipstick on top. And if you have sensitive lips, I think that this is a great option to wear a classic red matte lipstick without your lips feeling dry, because this is actually a matte lip balm, but it's a luminous matte lip balm. So it's matte, but it has st still has a little bit of sheen. Then moving on to another favorite of the tinted lip balms, and this one is from Chanel. This is from the new Chanel Rouge Coco Balm, and I have 918 My Rose. So this is, I would say that it's like a matte lip balm because it doesn't provide a lot of moisture and I love it. However, uh, this is actually, you're going to see now when I swatch it, this is actually like a sheer lipstick and it gives a very healthy look on the lips. So it's less matte compared to the matte lip balm of Dior. It gives incredibly healthy looking lips. However, keep in mind that some of you actually complained that this lip balm um, feels a little bit drying. So if you have dry, sensitive lips that are uh, that tend to crack, maybe this is not going to be the best option for you because it really doesn't provide a lot of moisture. You can see with just one swipe how much color I get. So this is really like a sheer lipstick and if you build it up, it looks incredibly beautiful on the skin, on the lips. And then moving on to three favorites from Guerlain. Now from Guerlain, the products that I wanted to show you are the new B lip balms. I have swatches of all of the colors in case you're interested. I'm going to link to my video. You can see the little B on top. And then I have one lipstick from Guerlain, which actually performs like a lip balm. So the lipstick is in number 258 My Kiss Glow. And then the lip balms are in... 809 Lavender Glow and then I have 409 Fuchsia Glow. Let's go ahead and see those. So these are my number one tinted lip balms. So they have a very pleasant scent and they look incredibly nice on the lips. Also they have a little bit of grip on the lips so they don't feel very watery. So compared to the Dior Satin Lip Balms, these definitely have more grip. Um, they don't feel as watery and they are definitely more long-lasting. These are probably some of the most long-lasting and hydrating. So the reason why these are my favorites, let me go ahead and swatch actually while we are talking. So you can see this is one swipe and then I can build up the color. I usually like to build up the color a little bit. It just gives... They look shiny. As you build up the color, the color becomes more shiny, but not way too shiny. So I really, really enjoy these lip balms because they are the most long lasting and they have the best of both worlds. So they have a little bit of grip, which makes them long lasting for a lip balm. But at the same time, they are moisturizing enough. They feel really well. They feel really nice and moisturizing on the lips. So this is the Fuchsia Glow. And once again, if you want to see also the other colors, I'm going to link to my video where I swatched everything in natural light. So this is the Fuchsia Glow. Now my number one is the Fuchsia Glow. It just gives a very healthy looking lips. Okay, I just want to tilt my arm so that it faces the window so that you can see exactly how shiny are the different lip balms. This is just, the purpose of this is just so that you can see how shiny they are. 
you can see that the matte color here from Dior really sits like a velvety matte color and then the Chanel white Le Balm, the Rouge Coco Balm definitely has some sheen. And then the last lip balm that I wanted to show you is my Kiss Glow. I have been using this. I have been using this lipstick so much. I don't even know why they call it and why they sell it as lipstick. So this one on my swatch, it's going to be clear, but then it changes color as it touches my lips. So this is actually pH reactive and it's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. Next, moving on to the High Shine lipsticks. So I have a couple of colors from Sisley and they have two different formulas. One has little tiny shimmers and the other one is completely matte. Now with the Sisley lipsticks, what's interesting is that these are refillable, first of all, and second, they have two different formulas. One is with little shimmers and then the other one is completely matte. Now what's interesting about the Sisley lipsticks is that actually the paler colors, the more nude colors um, appear more sheer on the lips, whereas the reds and the intense fuchsia colors, they have a lot more intense color. They are like actual lipstick. Whereas you're going to see now number 10, the paler, the palest shade that I have is actually almost like a lip balm. Then moving on to, I have uh, the Chantecaille Lip Chic in Wisteria, which is my favorite. This one is definitely somewhere in between a lip balm and a lipstick. And then moving on to the more intense, um, shiny lipsticks. I have one of my favorite Rouge Coco Blooms. I have a lot of colors from this, so in case you're interested, I'm going to have a link to a video where I swatched a lot of these colors. Rouge Leur L'Extrait, I absolutely love this one. Um, then we have Dior and YSL. Let's go ahead and let me show you actually the first color from Sisley. So we have number 10 from Sisley and this one is the palest color. So you're going to see now here that this one performs like a tinted lip balm. It has the exact amount of color as tinted lip balm and it smells amazing. It smells so nice and so delicious, almost like it almost has like this gorgeous vanilla scent and it has those little shimmers that I was talking about. You can probably see them as the light hits the lipstick. The next color that I have from Sisley is number 20 and this is from the matte formula. So this one doesn't have any shimmers and this one is actually a lipstick. Oops. <laughs> okay, I was not very gentle when I swatched it. so. Let's go ahead and just work this. I'm sorry guys, I'm not in the most comfortable position here because I'm trying to tilt myself so that I can catch the best possible lighting for you. So that's why I just ruined a little bit of the lipstick, but it's okay, you can see. So I'm just going to go ahead and work it a little bit with my finger so that you can see better the color. These Sisley lipsticks are absolutely gorgeous. They have just the right amount of grip and they feel very moisturizing and they are quite long lasting for a shiny lipstick. The next lipstick that I'm going to be swatching is the Chantecaille Wisteria. This is my favorite Chantecaille lipstick. It's a beautiful lipstick. It has this gorgeous vanilla scent and I really like it. The only thing that I don't like about the Chantecaille Lip Chic is that I have to build up the color a lot so that I can see the color. Next, moving on to my favorite Rouge Coco Bloom lipsticks. This one is in 122 Zenith. It's my number one color. One swipe and the color is so intense. So this is the most... Um, 
The Rouge Coco Blooms from Chanel have the most intense color and very intense shine, but they don't have a lot of grip. So if you start building up the color, it's going to be very shiny, but you will have to reapply the lipstick. It feels very, very moisturizing, very emollient. Let me go ahead and give you a good close up. But look at this color, I absolutely love it. It's this gorgeous coral shade. And then moving on to Chanel's Rouge Allure L'Extrait. So these are high shine lipsticks and the paler shades are a little bit more sheer and then the darker shades definitely have a lot more intense color. So the Rouge Allure L'Extrait are more matte compared to Chanel's Rouge Coco Blooms. You're going to see in a minute when I start swatching them on my lips. So this one is not really a very high shine lipstick. So this one is more like, I would say it's a shiny lipstick, but not too shiny. So if you are someone that loves a shiny lipstick but you don't want it to be too shiny, this one has a nice lasting power. For a shiny lipstick it lasts very well on my lips. And it's not too emollient. So this one is refillable again just like the Sisley. And then moving on to my favorite Dior refillable lipsticks. I have two colors. I want to purchase more but the thing is that brands are just releasing so many new products that I just cannot, um, I can't keep up with all of the new releases. So this one is my favorite color. It's very unique and it's pink bow. You can see that with one swipe I have very intense color. So this is a high shine lipstick. It's, I would say, almost as shiny as the Rouge Coco Blooms from Chanel, especially when you start building up the color, then it becomes even more shiny. And then the other color that I have is a little bit more sheer. This one is Beige Oblique, but it's the most, it's one of my most worn lipsticks lately. And then last but not least, I just wanted to show you also one very beautiful lipstick that I have from YSL. This one is not new, but it's one of my favorite nude, luminous nude lipsticks. So this one is very moisturizing. It feels very nice on the lips. And it's like one of the very, very perfect nude colors. For my, for my lips. It is not as shiny as Rouge Coco Bloom. So this one is probably, I would say somewhere in the middle between Dior and Rouge Allure L'Extrait. So it's not too shiny, but it's also not matte. It feels very comfortable and very moisturizing on the lips and it has a very luxurious sheen. Now starting with the new limited edition color of the Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom. Now moving on to the Chantecaille Beach Rose Lip Balm. It feels very moisturizing, it feels very comfortable on the lips, it's non-sticky. It doesn't last a long time, but that's to be expected from a lip balm after all. Um, I think that it's a very, very nice product. If you are a fan of Chantecaille, I would say that this is a very beautiful product. Okay, so this, I have to say, is one of my favorite tinted lip balms. It's one of the it's like really a very, very easy to use product. I love everything about this lip balm. I love how it feels on my lips. It's not sticky, but it's moisturizing enough. It's not too emollient. It's not too liquidy. And I can build up the color. You can see that it looks almost like a sheer lipstick. I absolutely love this lip balm. I could not recommend this one enough. And it's a number 100 nude look. Way to go, Dior. I think that this is one of my favorites. And I'm definitely going to be a ripper purchasing this one because it's so easy to wear. Um, it just makes me look so well put together. And if you have a little bit uh, fuller lips than mine, I think it's going to look even better. Now moving on to the iconic Dior 999 and this is the 
Matt Lebaum. I think that this is a very interesting formula and if you cannot wear matte lipsticks, if you have very sensitive, very dry lips and if you feel like you can't wear a matte lipstick, I think that this is an excellent alternative and I think that it's going to look beautiful if you just apply a little bit of this lip balm and then you can apply a matte red lipstick on top, it's going to look beautiful and at the same time your lips are going to be more protected. It doesn't feel drying, but at the same time it has a luminous matte finish. Now moving on to my favorite Rouge Coco Balm and this one is in 918 My Rose. It's one of my favorites. It looks so healthy. Like in real life, my lips look so healthy and so beautiful and this one actually it gets me compliments when I wear this outside because it just uh, makes my lips look not greasy, not matte, just naturally healthy and so beautiful. And you can apply this on your cheeks as well if you want to. And now moving on to my most used tinted lip balm for this summer. This is the Guerlain B Glow, Kiss Kiss B Glow in Fuchsia Glow. This one is always in my handbag. I even had to take it out of my handbag to show it to you guys because I never go out without this one. For some reason, it just makes me happy. I like the light scent that it has. I like that it has a little bit of a grip. I like that it gives a very healthy looking, uh, it gives me very healthy looking lips. I like the color. I like everything about this tinted lip balm. And moving on to the Guerlain Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom Lipstick. This is my Kiss Glow and this is definitely a color that reacts with them. It's pH reactive, so it's going to change color depending on your skin's pH, depending on your lips. It's going to um, change its color. I absolutely love how it looks on my lips. This one feels a little bit more kind of watery on the lips um, compared to the Kiss Kiss B Glow lip balm. So the lip balms have more grip, whereas this one feels more light on the lips. Now moving on to the lipstick. So I'm cleaning my lips with um, Bioderma Micellar Water and I'm applying a little bit of foundation on my lips before applying the lipsticks because some of the lip products stain my lips and I want you to be able to see accurately the colors. And moving on to my favorite Chantecaille lipstick. I think that this one is worth the splurge. I think it's a beautiful color. Rouge Coco Bloom Now This was my most worn lipstick last year, last summer, spring, summer season. It's a lipstick that I absolutely love. Now this shade from Rouge à L'Extrait is one of my most worn and most favorite colors for the summer season as well. I just love it and it looks so much, it looks more beautiful actually in natural light. I think that camera doesn't do justice to this color. Beige Oblique from Dior. Again, this is probably my most worn lipstick for this season and you are probably seeing me wear this color like Almost in all of my videos, in my latest videos, I've been wearing mostly this color. And my favorite YSL lipstick. So that was all for today's video and overall these were all of my favorite tinted lip balms and high shine lipsticks for the spring summer season. I think that all of them are very beautiful. I don't think that you can go wrong. It all depends on you and what is the formulation that you prefer. But I think that you can't go wrong here. I think that all of these are absolutely stunning. Let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite color, which one was your favorite and have you tried some of these products and let us know how they work for you. This is going to be useful for our whole community. I can't wait to see what you think and I can't wait to read your comments and see which ones are your favorites. I hope to see you in my next video. Please be sure to subscribe and take care. Bye!